Hey all, my name is Lawrence from Express Unity and today we are going to be continuing our Playfab tutorial series. Um, today it's just going to be a smallish video and I'm just going to be showing you guys how we can display some kind of image um, on our news view. So um, I'm going to edit our UI a bit so we can fit our image in. So I'm just going to make the news area slightly bigger. Um, and then I'm going to get our news uh, prefab. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up to our content so it fits nicely. Like so. And let's make it, make the news panel a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to put all this title and the uh, line that we have, I'm going to move that up a little. And we might even move it further to the left here. Uh, to the right, sorry. Like that. And for our content, let's just center that. Like so. Um, so. Maybe like that actually. So this will be our content and in, in this space here we're going to have our image. So I'm going to create a new image and I'm just going to size it to fit in this space here. Alright, um, so I'm going to just apply this now and I'm going to remove uh, that and set this um, to not active. So let's come over here to Playfab and in our content area, title news, um, uh, yes, I'm just going to remove all of this because we're going to be formatting everything differently. So in one of the comments I said to use JSON, um, but I quickly discovered that it was probably going to be a little bit more tedious to do it that way. And so we're going to do our own little format for this. So I'm just going to say image update for the title. And so the first part, we're going to have our content. So this is our body content. And then I'm going to put semicolon. And then after the semicolon here, this is our image URL. So I'm going to go ahead to my own website and I'm just going to get an image from maybe here. Can I, yeah, I'll get something from here. Got the image address. It's probably going to be a small image. Yeah, it is, but it'll, it'll do. And then after the semicolon, paste the image URL. Um, and that should be all we need to do here. So just save that. Let's head over to our code. Um, alrighty. So we want a new string. Oops. New string array, and we'll call it output. Output is now going to be equal to item dot news. Ah, uh, sorry, it's already there. Um, it's going to be equal to item.body and we're going to split it and the character of which we're splitting it by is going to be our semicolon. So when we do output with the index of zero, this is our body. That's our main content. When we do an output of one, that's our image. So let's go ahead and change our item uh, dot body to our output with the array index of zero, like so. Um, and then what we want to do is um, create a new transform uh, dot get child. And I believe this will be free because it's the last um, component. And we want to get image. Um, we'll leave it for, like that for now. We are going to edit this line. But now we need a new uh, coroutine. Uh, so let's uh, start making that. Also, please forgive me, I've got the 
washing machine on in the background. Might be a little bit noisy. Um, hopefully you can't hear it too much. So in this, we're going to create string URL and we're going to create image and we'll call this image. Alrighty. So now let's do www and then we'll just lowercase www equals new uh, www and that is going to be our URL. Then we want to um, uh, yield return www I believe and then after that we want to create a new texture 2d we'll call it texture equal to new texture 2d and we'll just give it a default width of one and one and then what we want to do is texture.load image and then we want to get the byte that we've just downloaded, so www.bytes, and then we want to apply that to our texture, so texture.apply. And now we want to create a new sprite, so sprite, sprite equals sprite.create, I believe, yes, there it is. And we want to pass it the texture and then a new rect. The position is going to be 00, zero but the width will be texture width and texture dot height we then need a pivot and we're just going to create vector 2 dot zero and now we can apply this to our image so image dot sprite equals sprite and if all has gone well once we um okay we'll grab this and then we want to start the coroutine, pass in our URL, which will be output one, and then pass our image. And if all is well, this should display everything like we, it was before, except this time we should have uh, that image that I got from my own website. So we'll just let it log in. There it is. Um, Coroutine no could not be started. Wait, what have I done? Oh, um, sorry. So in the start coroutine, you want to actually get the image, which is the function we just created, and then paste our um, uh, our output, uh, which is our URL, and then our image in there. Okay. So now, hopefully, that should work. Let's see, loads in the text, and there's our image. Hooray! Okay, so, um, to test that it's working with multiple, let's go ahead and create a new title news. I'm gonna call it test, publish, this is another test, semicolon, and for this one, I'm just going to get my logo. And if we save this, and we can now play, we should now have two posts with both the images loading. Yep, there it is. Awesome. Um, so, to fix this here, um, see how my image doesn't fit the uh, correct aspect, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we can always go after the coroutine is started. Oh, actually, now let's, let's do it in, in the coroutine. Once the sprite is set, we can do image dot uh, preserve aspect equals to true. And basically, that'll preserve the aspect ratio of the current image that it is uh, downloading. So let's see, there it is, okay, awesome. So that is how we can get an image into our news. Um, yeah, so basically if you wanted multiple images, um, you could just do more semicolons and then do link and then semicolon and link and so on and so on. Um, 
once you hit the end of whatever you're doing, don't put another semicolon, otherwise then you're probably going to have issues. Just leave it like that. Um, so basically this is the se separator that tells our code what point um, to split in the array. Um, so that is it. It, is, it was a bit of a short video, um, but hopefully you guys learned a little something from this. Um, there is still plenty that you can do in this get image function. There is no error handling at all in here. Um, you can do stuff like um, www dot is done, um, and that'll tell if the download is finished. You can do progress. That'll give you the uh, progress value. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, like, do all the usual stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.